Welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is Solzinza by Harapan Ong. I can't say that very well. Before we do this, please like and subscribe. Go and have a look at onlinemagic.co, my online school, resource, course, community, live sessions every week, Discord channel, thriving, helpful, supportive, lovely people on there, and, uh, and very good reviews. So have a look at onlinemagic.co. Right, this is Harapan Ong's Solved Zinza, based on Hof Zinza's, I just can't, I've got a lisp and everything, it, it's messy. Um, Solved Zinza, so this is based on the Hof Zinza four ace problem. Uh, this idea of the cards telling you what, what the chosen card is, etc. Um, it's It can be a bit of a tedious thing, uh, it's, but it, it's, I think this is strong enough um, that it doesn't, it doesn't, you can kind of make the fun of the, of the kind of four aces finding the thing and the little detectives and all that kind of thing. Uh, it really plays strongly. I have performed this for people who haven't got any footage of me doing so because I'm finding it hard to get footage at the moment. But, um, but that you can't really capture on a video the the moments of surprise so uh but we do the studio video and you'll have to kind of imagine it and and it's a it's a super strong trick say so stop have a look at it remember it uh what i could do at this point is i could name the card i couldn't because i genuinely don't know what the card is uh but that would be boring and i want to make this an interesting magic trick so what's going to happen is the aces are going to find your card i know it sounds ridiculous how on earth could that happen uh, well, I'll show you. What happens is they're going to get a little signal from the deck, which should be enough. They're kind of psychic. Look, they get a little signal from the deck. That's all it needs. And uh, then they'll communicate with me. Obviously, they can't talk. They're aces. They're playing cards. So uh, there you go. That's how they communicate. Two of them have turned face up, which tells me that uh, the card is black. Your card is black. Uh, if I get a little signal again, there you go. Uh, now what we got? Oh, we got one card face up which tells me that your card is a spade so we know it's a spade uh, now we have to know the value of the card and all i have to do is turn the cards over and you see there's the value of the card there they're like little detectives aren't they uh, but they're not just little detectives they're kind of master of disguise because you see they're all jacks uh, as is your card which is the jack of spades this is i think as well as the dumbry clues my one of my favorite especially my favorite non-gimmicked uh trick it's it's really strong there's something really lovely about um the fact that the the aces have moved and they're showing and it's quite don't uh, underestimate we get so used to it but when they see four aces when you do that uh, four face down cards when you do that count and all of a sudden they're face up we we see that so often or many of us do that we go oh that's just a, another elderly trick but really strong and then there's one card face up and then there's that surprise thing where there's a jack and then they're all jacks and then you've got super clean ending you, and completely clean which i really really like no gimmick cards and uh, it's it's a pretty easy setup as well once you've done it a few times you know four aces there and you've just got to get the, um, the other cards in four cards ready so you're going to have to use uh, a riffle force or something like that. You're going to have to be careful. You don't expose certain things when you do that force. And that just takes a little bit of practice. Um, and then there's the kind of browy addition, which is a weird, I still find it weird to do. All I'll say about it is that when you're, you know, if, I'll just get any cards to do it. When you're doing this kind of, this thing, um, it feels very weird and contrived. When you actually perform it to people, it just looks like that's how you're showing the cards. There, for a while I did do this thing of and um, justify the action of gun where the ace the aces do look, you know, and I I justify while I was doing it. But actually I found that if I just do it, it's fine. But it is a weird, you know, you're picking up the aces, putting them on the deck, and then it feels odd, but don't over worry about it. If you've got the flow of it and you're doing it smoothly enough, which I I was a bit eggy in that um performance with it. Uh, it's not a, it's not something that comes super easy to me, even though it is pretty much an easy move. I, I find it hard to make it really, really float. So, um, but other than that, the Elmsley counts, um, the, sorry, they're not Elmsley counts, they're, there's one Elmsley count and Scanio spreads with a little displacement move, as you would have seen. That's all fairly easy. You've got to be a little bit confident with the cards, but there's nothing really 
uh, knuckle busting in there at all. So again, it's sleight of hand, but the easier side, there's no spread curls or anything like that. Uh, and I really, really love it. So that's Solved Zinza uh, from Optics. So any questions, do put it in the comments below. And uh, after this, if you'd go and check out onlinemagic.co, that'd be lovely. Like and subscribe, that'd be lovely too. Cheers. Thank you.